members of the Mahasangha, friends in the Dhamma. The Florida Buddhist Vihara is conducting this program. First of all, I would like to convey my gratitude to the Bhantes, who are the residents, monks in Florida Buddhist Vihara. Bhante Ananda, Bhante Amita, Bhante Upananda and Bhante Sirinanda. Respecting all the venerable monks, I am going to start this program. In this program, first of all, we have so five precepts and uh, worship the triple gem, the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. Next, uh, we hope to discuss meditation in Buddhism. And finally, we practice Buddhist meditation for our inner peace. Okay, with that intention, let's start this program. Sado, sado, sado. <coughs> Namo tasse bhagavato arehato samma sambundanse. Namo tasse bhagavato arehato Samma Sambundhanse Namo Tasse Bhagavato Arehato Samma Sambundhanse Homage to the Exalted One, the Worthy One, the Supremely Enlightened One. Three Refuge Bundhaṁ saranaṁ gajjhāmi Dhammaṁ saranaṁ gajjhāmi Sanghaṁ saranaṁ gajjhāmi I go to the Buddha for refuge. I go to the Dhamma for refuge. I go to the Sangha for refuge. Dutti ampi bundhang saranang gajjami. Dutti ampi dhammang saranang gajjami. Dutti ampi sanghang saranang gajjami. A second time, I go to the Buddha for refuge. A second time, I go to the Dhamma for refuge. A second time, I go to the Sangha for refuge. Chati Ampi Bundhang Saranang Gajami. Chati Ampi Dhammang Saranang Gajami. Tati Ampi Sanghang Saranang Gajjami. A third time, I go to the Buddha for refuge. A third time, I go to the Dhamma for refuge. A third time, I go to the Sangha for refuge. Five precepts, Panchasila. Panati Pata Vera Mani Sikha Padang Samadhyami. I undertake the training to abstain from taking life. Adin Nahadana Vera 
Samadhyami. I undertake the training tool to abstain from stealing. Kami sumicha chara vera mani sikha padang samadhyami. I undertake the training tool to abstain from sexual misconduct. Musavahada vera mani sikha padam samadhyami. I undertake the training to abstain from false speech. Sura meraya majja pamadatthana vera mani. I undertake the training tool to abstain from intoxicating drinks and drugs causing heedlessness. Buddha Vandana, homage to the Supreme Buddha. Iti fiso bhagava arehang samma sambundho vinja charana sampanno sugato loka vidun Anuntaro purisadam sarati santa deva manusanang buddho bhagavati. Such indeed the exalted one, worthy, supremely enlightened, endowed with knowledge and conduct. Well gone, nor of the world, incomparable trainer of persons to be tamed, supreme teacher of deities and men, enlightened and exalted. Dhamma Vandana, homage to the teachings of the Buddha. Swakato Bhagavata Dhammo. Sandhiko akaliko ehi pansiko openaiko panchantang veditambo vinyo hiti. The Dhamma is well expounded by the Blessed One, directly visible, immediately effective. Call in one to come and see, leading onwards and to be personally realized by the wise. Sangha Vandana, homage to the noble disciples of the Buddha. <coughs> Supati Panno Bhagavato Savaka Sangho. Ujo pati panno bhagavato savaka sangho. Nyaya pati panno bhagavato savaka sangho. Sami ke pati panno bhagavato savaka sangho. Yadi dan chantari purisa yugani atta purisa pungala esa bhagavato savaka sanghon ahuneyo pahuneyo dakhineyo anjali karaniyo Anuntaram punyakentang lokansati. 
the order of the blessed ones disciples is practicing well the order of the blessed ones disciples is practicing rightly the order of the blessed ones disciples is practicing correctly the order of the blessed ones disciples is practicing properly the four classes of persons the eight kind of individuals the order of the blessed ones disciples is worthy of offerings and hospitality worthy of gifts and salutation the supreme field of merit for the world worshiping the all is to pass vandami chete ang sambang sambatane so patithetam sarere kadhatu mahabodhin bundarupam sakalam sada aspiration vision imina punya kammena mame bal samagamo satang samagamo hotu yava nibban pantiya sadu 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 friends in the dhamma venerable mahasangha now we are going to listening to buddha's message especially in meditation meditation or bhavana and practicing meditation when we refer the buddha's message it is very clear that what the buddha explained all the doctrines that buddha has explained for 45 years can be summarized into one sentence sakit pariyo dapanam purifying one's mind all buddhist doctrines focus on purifying our minds why do we need to purify our mind purification of our mind decides our happiness happiness is the main purpose of everyone who was born in this world we do everything in the name of happiness the supreme would the explain the correct path how we achieve the real happiness our happiness completely depends on purifying our minds therefore would they explain the path here it is very important to understand the importance of our mind our mind is the main thing that decides our happiness or suffering mano pubbanga ma dhamma mano setta mano maya mind is the forerunner mind is chief mind made da de manasa ke paduthena bahasativa karotiva if someone does something with a wicked mind in pure mind physically verbally or mentally we have to face suffering suffering comes to us whenever we do something with a wicked mind and also if we do something with a pure mind happiness follows us in this situation we should understand if we want to be happy we have to keep our mind pure and calm we should purify our mind the path that the blessed one explained to purify our mind can be summarized into three techniques one of them is practicing generosity 
dana. When we practice generosity, our mind is so pure and calm. And the next step is that mm, sila or virtue. When we practice five precepts, at that moment, our mind is so pure and calm. And also, when we practice meditation, bhavana, then we can directly purify our mind from negative thoughts. Here, we should understand the negativities and also mental states that disturb our peace of mind. There are a lot of negative thoughts in our mind. All of them can be summarized into three. They are Lobo Akusala Molam, Doso Akusala Molam, Moho Akusala Molam. Lobe or craving, Dose, anger or hatred, Moha, delusion or ignorance. These are the unwholesome roots, Akusala Mole, that disturb our peace of mind. First of all, we should understand these negativities that disturb our peace of mind. Whenever we have these negative thoughts in our mind, actually we have no real happiness, inner peace, even though we are well educated, although we are very rich. That is why we should practice this path for purifying our minds. When we practice generosity, our mind is so pure and calm. When we practice sila or virtue, we can purify our mind. And also when we practice meditation, we are able to purify our mind directly and successfully. Bhavana in Buddhism, is explained into two ways. One of them is Samatha Bhavana or tranquil meditation or tranquility and Vipassana Bhavana, insight meditation. The purpose of practicing meditation is to purify our mind. The more we purify our mind, the more we can develop our inner peace, happiness. Happiness is the main purpose of everyone. If we want to achieve the real happiness, we have to cleanse our mind from negative thoughts. Bhavana is explained in Buddhism as Bhaveti Kusaladame Asevati Vaddeti Etayati Bhavana. Bhavana or meditation means developing positive thoughts, practicing or doing positive thoughts, increasing the positive thoughts. This is the meaning of meditation. Meditation in short means medication for our mental disorders. What are the mental disorders that disturb our peace of mind? Hatred, greed, conceit, jealousy, delusion. These are the negative thoughts that disturb our peace of mind. When we practice meditation, we develop positive thoughts such as confidence, sadha, Effort, virya, sati, mindfulness, samadhi, tranquility, and panya, wisdom. These are the positive thoughts that we develop when we practice meditation according to what the Supreme Buddha explained. Here, it is very important to understand the Buddhist path. When we practice Samatha meditation, we are able to overcome our negativities in some levels 
gas. The mundane level. This Kambana Prahana. We are able to reduce some hindrances, five hindrances from our mind when we practice Samatha Bhavana or concentration meditation. According to Buddhism, there are 40 meditation techniques explained by the Buddha as tranquil meditations, such as Buddha Hanusati, the recollection of the Buddha, Dhamma Anusati, the recollection of the Dhamma, Metta Bhavana, Loving Kindness Meditation, Anapanasati Bhavana, Breathing Meditation, these are the meditation techniques that help us to overcome hindrances, especially five hindrances, sensual pleasure, ill will, sloth and torpor, restlessness and worry, skeptical doubts. These are the negative thoughts that we overcome when we concentrate our mind. And also when mind gains concentration, we practice insight meditation, vipassana bhavana, reflecting on impermanence. By practicing samatha bhavana, we keep our mind in the present moment in concentration state. When we practice insight meditation or vipassana bhavana, we reflect on impermanence. Our mind is impermanent. Our body is impermanent, or the five aggregates are impermanent. Six senses are impermanent. Six external objects are impermanent. When we reflect on impermanence about our five aggregates, six internal senses, six external objects, gradually we can overcome ignorance as the result of overcoming ignorance or delusion, we are able to overcome greed and anger little by little. In this situation, according to Buddha's message, when we practice meditation, the Supreme Buddha explained very clearly, Adikeneva kusalesu dhammesu parisuddehi at the beginning of practicing meditation, we should cleanse our wholesomeness. There, Buddha explained, Silesu suvisuddham dittin chujuka. Silesu suvisuddham means we should have discipline in our speech and behavior when we are going to practice meditation. That is why we observe five precepts then we are confident in our behavior and speech. Not only that, we should have clear vision, right understanding. Ditti chujuka. Ditti chujuka means we should have clear understanding, right understanding, what we practice, where we are going to. There, we should know the karmic law and the dependent origination. The karmic law means whatever we do with intention, physically, verbally, or mentally, we will have the same results. And also, the second step of samadhi is that um, understanding the four noble truths. Dukkha Sajya, Samudhi Sajya, Nirodha Satya, Magha Satya. We should have understanding about the suffering and the cessation of suffering. Suffering means arising of five aggregates. Every moment we contact the world, when we contact the world through our senses, we have some experiences. When we understand some experiences, the very first experience, especially the forms have ceased. 
we understand everything through our mind consciousness when we understand something through our mind consciousness the material world has already ceased this this has a very deep meaning little by little when we listen to them we can understand the suffering and the cessation of suffering first of all we are going to practice samatha bhavana or concentration meditation the foundation of buddhist meditation is that mindfulness mindfulness means being aware of our body and mind we are aware of our body and mind here it is very important to practice sati nimitta or focus of mindfulness we keep our attention around the nose of upper lip it says in buddhism parimukham sati nupatta petwa we should keep our attention around the nose of upper lip nasika geva mukha nimitte va it explains very clearly in jana vibhanga in vibhanga pakkapakarana in abhidhamma pitaka the very first step of practicing meditation or mindfulness in buddhism is that mm, keeping our attention in the present moment paremukhaṃ sati nu patta petwa nasika geva mukha nimitte va when we are aware of the present moment we can understand the nature of our mind then gradually we can recognize the mental states mind objects and we can overcome negative thoughts and also at the same time we can develop positive thoughts and mindfulness concentration and wisdom that is the thing that we do when we practice meditation according to what the buddha explained dear friends in the dhamma for that first of all we practice sati nimitta or the mindful object focus of mindfulness please get ready for our guidance meditation relax your body please be aware of your body posture that you are sitting here please keep your attention around the nose so upper lip in the present moment please keep your attention around the nose of upper lip in the present moment with mindfulness
I completely live in the present moment mindfully. I don't think my past or future. When my mind goes past and future, I keep it in the present moment. When I live in the present moment, I can recognize the thoughts that come to my mind, whether they are pure or impure. When I live in the present moment, mindfully, my mind is so pure and calm. I am happy living in the present moment, mindfully. During this meditation session, I completely keep my attention around the nose or upper lip with the Sati Nimitta focus of mindfulness or mindful object. Friends in the Dhamma, now you can continue practicing Satinimitta or focus of mindfulness. When you live in the present moment, you can see the beauty of your mind. You can enjoy your life and also Whenever negative thoughts come to your mind, immediately you are able to recognize those negativities in your mind. When you are aware of the negative thoughts, then they immediately go away since you are mindful. 
mindfulness is the foundation of meditation explained by the blessed one no matter what meditation technique we practice we should try to keep our attention around the nose of our lip in the present moment then we can apply any meditation technique to our sati nimitta then we apply the meditation object to our mind if you are mindful it is very easy to develop the concentration meditation whenever you go away from this meditation session in your day to day life if you practice mindful object for sati nimitta you do everything mindfully whenever you do something with mindfulness it means you are in meditation you are developing your positive thoughts bhaveti kusala dhamme asevati vaddeti etayati bhavana bhavana means developing positive thoughts whenever we have positive thoughts in our mind at that moment our mind has no space for negative thoughts the more we practice positive thoughts such as mindfulness concentration and wisdom the more we are able to overcome negativities greed anger and delusion the more we purify our mind from these negative thoughts then we can see the beauty of our mind our inner peace spiritual happiness gradually increase as the result of practicing mindfulness with that intention now we hope to practice buddha anusuti bhavana the recollection of the qualities of the buddha buddha anusuti is one of the samatha bhavana one of the concentration meditation techniques explained by the worthy one when we contemplate on the noble qualities of the supreme buddha our confidence or saddha in the buddha gradually increases when we develop confidence or saddha in the buddha other spiritual faculties virya effort sati mindfulness samadhi concentration and panya wisdom gradually develop that is why the buddha has explained the importance of practicing buddha anusuti bhavana now we are going to practice buddha anusuti bhavana first we think a statue or picture of the buddha we think that the supreme buddha is in front of me and also we recollect the qualities of the buddha the buddha is the person who developed his mind to the maximum level with great compassion and great wisdom maha karuna and maha panya whenever we think about the buddha's noble qualities our mind is so pure and calm then our mind is like a room for the buddha buddha kutia since at the moment the buddha is living in our heart in our mind 
that is why we practice Buddha Hanasid Bhavana as a meditation technique for our inner peace, spiritual happiness. Friends in the Dhamma, please get ready for Buddha Hanasid Bhavana, the contemplation of the qualities of the Buddha. Please be aware of your body posture that you are sitting here. From your legs to head and from your head to legs. And keep your mind around the nose so upper lip with Sati Nimitta in the present moment with mindfulness. At the same time, now we are going to practice Buddha Hanusati Bhavana the recollection of the qualities of the Blessed One. Arham. The Buddha eradicated all the defilements from his mind. And also he was worthy of offerings of the world. He overcame the sansaric circle. For this quality, we say that um, Arahan, worthy. Arahan. Arahang Arahang Worthy The Supreme Buddha, my spiritual teacher, is in front of me. The immediate day that the Buddha attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree in Bodh Gaya, like he is in front of me with the appearance of the Buddhahood. Arahang. Arahang. Arahang Vadi Samma Sambundo Supremely enlightened, the Buddha, my spiritual teacher, 
attain enlightenment, the Buddhahood, without any guidance of other teachers. He himself realized the Buddhahood. For this quality, we say that Samma Sambuddha. Samma Sambuddha. Samma Sambuddha. Samma Sambuddha. Supremely enlightened. Vidya Charana Sampanno Endowed with knowledge and conduct. The Supreme Buddha gained very special psychic energies and wise energies such as Vipassana Jnana, Manome Iddhvidhyana, so on. And also he practiced special qualities, virtue, so on. For this quality, we say that hmm, Vidya Charana Sampan. He practiced some qualities. Sela, Indriya Sangvara, Hiriyottapa. These are the qualities that Buddha practiced. For this quality, we say that Vijja Charana Sampanna. Vidya Charana Sampanno Vidya Charana Sampanno Vidya Charana Sampanno Endowed with knowledge and conduct. The Supreme with the, my spiritual teacher is in front of me. I contemplate on his noble qualities one by one. By recollecting his noble qualities, I purify my mind from negative thoughts. I develop my concentration. Sugato will go on. The Buddha became the enlightenment with a very pleasant journey. His words were very pleasant and calm. His behavior is also very pleasant and calm. He became the enlightenment by helping other people too. 
his spiritual journey was very pleasant and pure. <coughs> For this quality, we say that Sugata. Sugato 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 Well gone Loka Vidu, nor of the world, the worthy one, the Buddha, realized the three worlds, Kama Loka, Rupa Loka and Arupa Loka, sensual world, form world and formless world. He himself realized these three words very clearly. For this quality, we say that hmm, Loka Vidu, nor of the world. Loka Vidu. Loka Vidu Loka Vidu Nor of the world Anottero Purisa Dhamma Sarati Incomparable train of persons to be tamed. The Supreme Buddha tamed very dangerous persons in this world. He tamed those persons with his compassion and wisdom. For this special quality we say that hmm, Anuttara Purisadama Sarati Incomparable trainer of persons to be tamed. Anuttara Purisadama Sarati Anuttaro Purisa Dhamma Sarati Anuttaro Purisa Dhamma Sarati Incomparable train of persons to be tamed. Sattaha Deva Manusanam Supreme Teacher of Deities and Men The Buddha was the teacher not only for humans but deities and Brahmas too. The Buddha guided 
human beings, devas and brahmas for liberation, enlightenment. For this quality of the Buddha, we say that hmm, Sattaha Deva Manusana, Supreme Teacher of Deities and Men. Sattaha Deva Manusana. Sattaha Deva Manusana. Sattha Deva Manusanam. Supreme Teacher of Deities and Men. Bundo enlighten. The Buddha realized the Four Noble Truths. Dukkha, Samudhi, Nirodha, Magga. And also he proclaimed this message to the world with great compassion. The Buddha explained the Four Noble Truths to the world for their liberation. For this quality, we say that hmm, Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. Bundo Enlighten Bhagava exalted. The Buddha was the most fortunate person, the most superior person in this world. He was worthy of offerings, worthy of offerings of the world. And also he eradicated Raga, Dosa and Moha completely, craving anger and delusion. Raga Bhagna, Loba Bhagna, Moha Bhagna. Since he eradicated all the departments completely, we say him as Bhagava. 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 Exalted. Arehan Samma Sambundo Vidya Charena Sampano Samma 
สุกาโตโลกวิดูอนุตโรปุริสดัมมสารตีสัตตาเดวมนุษย์สานังบุญดบาเกวา by contemplating on the qualities of the Buddha I concentrate our mind I concentrate my mind I purify my mind บุญดังสาระนังกัจจามิไอโกรุเดบุดเฮฟอร์เอฟิวจ์เนเตสเนสิลล์เลบุดูฮิมิรูเอ Deki maya gata sena sille budo himi hate vendi maya tita sena sille budo himi gune สิทิมาเยนบาวเซเนสิลล์หิมิกัตมะเกเนมาเยสัดุสัดุสัดุ Friends in the Dhamma, we practice Buddha Hanusati Bhavana. Contemplating on the qualities of the Buddha is one of the meditation techniques that helps us to purify our mind as a concentration meditation technique. When we think about the Buddha's noble qualities, we can see very clearly. Purification of our mind. Our success depends on our happiness. Our happiness completely depends on purifying our minds. Bahavana or meditation is the most important technique that we receive from the Buddha Sasana, the dispensation of the Buddha. Since we have to practice meditation as much as we hope to live happily. Next, we are going to practice metta bahavana, loving kindness meditation. Loving kindness meditation is highly appreciated in Buddhism. There are a lot of benefits, results we can see. Through practicing metta bahavana, the Buddha says very clearly, "Yantan santam padanga bisamicche." He who wishes to attain the peace of mind should practice sabbe satha bhavantu sukitatha. May all beings be well, happy, and peaceful. We should contemplate on dasan. May all beings be well, happy, and peaceful. At the very beginning on the path of liberation, metta bahavana is very very important. Since we mostly suffer because of anger, 
anger is the one of the reasons that disturb our peace of mind. Anger is an enemy who is still somewhere in a peace. Whenever we are angry, everything that we earn is useless. That is why practicing loving kindness meditation, metta bhavana, is recommended in modern psychology and counseling for stress management. The Supreme Buddha has explained this message before 2,500 years. We are so fortunate. We have these techniques explained by the Blessed One. Now, let's practice loving kindness meditation for a few minutes. Please relax your body. And keep your right hand on the left hand. Straight your body, please. And please take a deep breath in. Hold a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. And again, take a deep breath in. Hold a few seconds. Breathe out slowly. Relax your body, please. Please continue your Satin with the focus of mindfulness, mindful object. Please keep your mind around the nose so upper lip in the present moment with mindfulness. Now I am going to practice loving kindness meditation. I spread loving kindness thoughts to everyone, those who are in this world. In this world, many people help me every day for my facilities. Most of people in the world are my friends and relatives. Many people in this world were my close relatives in my previous lives. Therefore, I bless them. I wish their success. I bless them. May all beings at this place be well, happy and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in the east direction be well, happy and peaceful.
may they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in the south direction be well, happy and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in the west direction be well, happy and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in the north direction be well, happy and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in the down direction be well, happy and peaceful. May they attain the final bliss of liberation. May all beings in the upper direction be well, happy and peaceful. May they attain their final bliss of liberation. May all beings be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to them. May no problems come to them. May no difficulties come to them. May they attain their final bliss of liberation. I see it all over the world, like my family, like my children. I bless all of them. With this concentrated mind, I reflect on impermanence. Vipassana Bhavana. Every moment, my mind changed, my body also changed. Everything is subject to change. My entire life is body and mind. With details, my entire life is that five aggregates. 
रूप है फॉर्म वेदना फीलिंग्स संज्ञा परसेप्शन संकहार मेंटल फॉर्मेशंस एंड विज्ञान कॉन्सेसनेस एवरी मोमेंट दिस फाइव थिंग्स आराइज टुगेदर दे इमीडिएटली सीज टुगेदर With the arising of conditions, these five aggregates arise at the moment, and they immediately cease with the cessation of conditions. My entire life is these five aggregates, and they arise and cease every moment. Arising. Ceasing, arising, ceasing, arising, ceasing. Sambe sankara anicchati. संदे संकारा दुखाति संदे दम्मा अनाथाति यदा पञ्जाय पश्चति अतनिंबिंदति दुःखे ऐसे मंगो विसुंधियां All conditioned things are impermanent. All conditioned things are dissatisfactory. All phenomena are selfless. He who sees this reality with wisdom overcomes suffering. This is the path to purity. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Venerable members of the Mahasangha, friends in the Dhamma, here we practice Samatha Bhavana and Vipassana Bhavana too. The purpose of practicing meditation is to purify our mind. The more if we can purify our mind, the more we can develop our inner peace. Spiritual happiness. Buddha says, as a person who was born in this world, as a wise person, the highest qualities that we can practice are samatha and vipassana, tranquility and insight. Our real success as a spiritual person is that mm, the duration of practice in samatha and vipassana bhavana. If you trust in the Buddha. If you are confident in the Buddha, you have to increase the duration of practice in concentration and insight meditation. If you really respect the Buddha, if you really respect your mind, your life, you have to practice this path. All the information can be seen in Buddhism. We are so fortunate having this. Dispensation of the Buddha, the Buddha Sasana. We have received this Buddha Sasana as the result of our previous good karma. Therefore, we have to develop our mind to the maximum level to refine our mind. For that, I wish you all the best. If you have any question, you can ask. This Bahavana session is sponsored by 
Mr. Duminda Rajapaks and Tamila Rajapaks. I especially appreciate them and we transfer their beloved departed relatives to and also we transfer these merits to divine beings too. By the power of this spiritual energy, may your departed relatives and devas, divine beings, rejoice with this merit and may they develop their spiritual energy. May they receive more blissful lives and finally, may they also attain the final bliss of liberation. With that intention, let's say, Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. By the power of this spiritual energy, may you be well, happy, and peaceful. May you all righteous wishes meet with success. Finally, may all of us attain the final bliss of liberation, Nibbana, enlightenment. Dukkham Pantaja Nindukkham. Bayam Panta Janin Bayam So come Panta Janis So come Unto Pipanino Dukin Pelena Satan Dukin me detentua Bien Pelena Satan be a nati vetantua. So vin te vena satan. So nasan vetantua. Nitin me hammer satan. So a patan vetantua. May the triple gem bless you. Hey, dear Dhamma friend, I would like to give a special thank for our vendors uh, on behalf of our sponsor family and also the on behalf of our devotees. <clears throat> 